Hey all, welcome to Gyanizi. Today we are going to talk about your liking in Salesforce Lightning. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe it and hit bell icon. So what is your liking? Your liking is nothing but pre-populating field values on standard UI. What I mean, let's see it live. So I have one account. So when I create new contact under the account, here some values are pre-populated. So this is what pre-populating certain values. So this can be done using URL hacking. So how to achieve this URL hack? Let's see it. So for that, you need to pass one attribute called default field values. So when I click on new contacts and if I try to create new contact, that time if I pass default field values, So this default field values, you need to pass your API name of the field. So for example, I need to pre-populate first name. So I'm saying first name equal to test contact. Now in URL, you cannot have spaces. You need to replace them with plus sign. So hit it. You will find that first name is auto-populated with test contact value. So this is what URL hack. Now let's do it in org using custom button so for that i'll just take you back on to the gyanizi account so here under contact related list we will have one new button that is custom button clicking on which we should have auto populated values so let's create one button so on contact click new button and link let's create one button name it as create contact let's keep it as list button because we need it in related list so we'll have to keep it as list button let's keep source as url and here we need to now pass certain values so let's first build base url so to create your base url we'll just use this contact standard button so i'll just have new contact this is the base url so i mean this is the url when you create the contact i'll copy this url till question mark and i'll use it in salesforce you do not need to give base url so we'll just remove this base url this will help you in your deployments you do not need to give instance name domain name so just keep this and now we'll just pass values pre-populated values so we need to pass one attribute default field values equal to to set the values we need to pass key value pair so key would be your field api name so last name is the api name which we need to populate with accounts name so using expression language we can say account dot name so this is expression language so we are binding last name with account name now let's say we need to bind few more fields for example we need to populate phone mobile then we may want to populate account name so let's do it so i'll just populate phone on contact will bind with accounts phone let's now add mobile phone which will be again bound to accounts phone. Now we'll add few more values like account ID is equals to accounts ID. Let's populate email as well. So email is standard field on contact which we can auto populate with accounts email on account i have created already one email field so i'm pre-populating value here with that field then we can also pre-populate other values like let's say i want to pre-populate level so level is just a custom field on contact we need to pre-populate it with certain conditions that means if 
this is my first contact under account then i need to mark it as primary and all other contacts under that account should be marked as secondary so let's implement this logic for that we need if block so conditional statement so if now in expression language you can use if so if account dot now i have one field called contact count so account dot contact count is greater than zero then it is secondary and else it will be primary contact that means if it is having zero or null value then it will be primary contact so that's my if block then i will give curly braces now i have populated level so let us populate address as well so for address i have already got mappings i will reuse that mapping so this is what my mapping is now one thing that you should make sure that you do not have any spaces after comma if you have any spaces after comma that means this value will not be populated so remove any spaces if you have after comma let's make sure that we do not have it that's it so let's use this button let's add this button onto the accounts page layout so i'll go on accounts object under account layout i will get this button added on contacts related list so here i'll just add it and save it now let's refresh our accounts page Here we have create contact pay a button which is recently created click on it so if you see it will pre-populate values so now it is populating mobile phone last name account name level level as primary here if you notice email it is populating address and so on so if I save it it will be saved successfully with all these details on it this is how you can pre-populate field values now i'll go back onto the account and here if i now if you notice when i click standard new button it is showing one background over here that background is nothing but account where you have initiated create contact so we should have it on our custom button as well so on custom button right now we do not have that so let's do it for that if we go back onto the account record again and on standard button if you observe there is one parameter called background context so we'll have to set the background context here so this is the parameter that we'll have to pass i'll copy this i'll go on to this url here we'll pass background context is equals to url which we want in background so this is my url which i need in background so i'll just use it slash lightning and this url so here i'll remove hard-coded account id with the in expression language account dot id and at the end we'll have to add ampersand so that this will be second attribute in the url so i'll just save it now let's go back and refresh account and see the result here you go so our background is set with the account and all the values are pre-populated this is how you can achieve url hack and pre-populate certain field values
if you want to learn more in salesforce if you want to get trained onto the salesforce you can reach out to us for that you can follow our description link thanks for watching see you in next video